Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Pixel Lab. I want to talk about bringing your shadows out of Octane into After Effects so that you can composite them. So we have this nice plane here and it's catching the shadow, but we want to turn this plane into a shadow catching object, meaning it's not visible in the render, but we still have the shadow. So we have a HDRI and a Octane Daylight lighting it, and we have that uh, shadow being cast by the daylight. So let's figure out how to make this plane invisible. So the first thing that we're gonna do is make a new material, and let's open that up. So in your new material, we have a common section under here, and under common, we have a matte checkbox. And all you have to do is check this on, and then put this on the object you want to be matted out. So that's the plane here. And if we do that, you can see that the plane becomes invisible, but we still have that really nice shadow. So now there's a few things we have to do to get rid of the environment, the HDRI, because if we render right now, we're gonna have this HDRI baked into our render and we don't want that, we want alpha. So the first thing you're gonna do is go to your render settings and make sure that your format is something that can handle alpha and that you have the alpha channel checked on. That's step one. Now we have to go into our octane settings and change a couple things. So under the kernels, we have alpha channel and keep environment. And these are pretty self-explanatory, but you have to know where to find them. So the first thing we're gonna do is click on alpha channel and it's going to delete the background and it looks like everything should be good to go, right? So let's render. And unfortunately, the render is gonna look different than what you see in your viewport here. So I'm not sure why the two look differently, but it's an easy fix. All you have to do is uncheck keep environment, and this part looks the same, but if we hit render, now you can see that that HDRI background is gone. Now it's a little bit hard to see, but this is actually rendering the shadow as well. So just to recap, make sure you turn on alpha channel and turn off keep environment, and then in your render settings, you have that alpha channel checked on. So just make sure those are all lined up. Then you can jump into After Effects and import that file. And if we drag that into our scene, you can see that we have that shadow. And now you can composite that guy wherever you want into your scene and it's gonna fit really nicely. So that is called a shadow catching uh, material or object. And that's how you set it up in Octane. So I hope that helps you guys out. As always, thank you for checking out the Pixel Lab and we'll talk to you next time. Ciao.